Hi everyone, it's Laura from lauralondonfitness.com and today I have a great upper body TRX workout for you. All you need is a TRX, bottle of water, and some energy. And this is um, an attachment that comes with the TRX. So you just hook it into your door and you are ready to go. Most of my workouts you know you can do at home. So that's what we're doing today. So go grab your TRX, your energy, your water bottle, and let's get started. What we're gonna do first is we're going to take our TRX. Mine again is mounted to the wall, but again, yours is probably over the door, is what I call to intuitive stretching. So really, what does that mean? It means just taking your TRX, kind of leaning in, twisting, getting that body ready for some exercise. We can bring our arms up, maybe twist. There's all sorts of ways you can stretch using the TRX. I think that's a video in itself. So I wanna make sure you've warmed up for a few minutes before you start. We're gonna start with chest and we're going to do a closed hand push-up. It's really a push-up. So we're going to start with our feet behind us. Our arms are close and next to our body and we're just going to push out and away and come back down. Now depending on where your feet are, harder, easier. Whatever works for you, we're going to do 15. Here we go. One, two, that's it. Three, your core is nice and tight. Four, work in the chest. Five, six, seven, I can hear the lawn men outside. Eight, every time I go to film a video. Nine, it seems to be time to mow the lawn. 10, you got it. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, great, take it, walk it out, stretch those arms. That was our first chest exercise. Now we're gonna go into shoulder. So I like to call these crocodile arms. So I find my lean back or my foot placement where your feet need to be, and then we're gonna open up like a crocodile and alternate the handles. Here we go, we're gonna make it even, so we're gonna do 16 here. Ready? One, really open up those arms. Two, three, come almost all the way up to standing. Four, you're gonna feel that in your shoulder. Five, six, see if you can keep a straight arm. Seven, there's always gonna be a slight bend in the elbow. Eight, nine, good. 10, that core is engaged. You're like a flat board. 11, 12, I said 16, 13, 14, yes. 15, and last one here. 16, excellent. Now we're gonna take it into a back exercise, one of my favorites with the TRX. I just love this one. It's called a row and a fly. So we're gonna grab the handles, our palms are facing each other. I'm gonna walk my feet forward to where I need to be. And then we're gonna row these handles in, leaning with the chest and really squeezing those shoulder blades back. And then we're gonna let them go and we're gonna fly them up. It's almost like a big Y. So let's go, we have 15 of these. Row and fly, that's it, that's one. And we're not in a hurry. We really wanna feel the exercise. Two, it's working against your own body weight. Three, so you can make it harder, or easier depending on where you place your feet. Remember, it's your workout. This is five. You guys know I am not the best counter in the world. It's part of my charm. 
six, it's obviously a joke with my personal training clients. Seven, but I always know they're counting. Eight, keep it going. Nine, do you feel that in your back? Come on, all the way up. 10, squeeze those shoulder blades. 11, core is engaged, it's nice and tight. 12, 13, yes. Two more, you got it. 14, woo! And last one here is 15. Excellent, really good. Let's just stretch that out. Ah, oh, feels really nice in the low back. Sometimes I twist and twist. Okay, so now we're gonna take it into biceps. We're gonna do some high curls. And I say I like to start where I know I'm gonna finish, especially with this exercise. So this would be my high bicep curl where I would end, and this is where I start. So I know where my feet need to be before I start. So find where you need to be, high biceps, elbows are up, and we're here we have 15. So lean it back and curl. One, that's it. Two, you got it. Three, keeping that core nice and tight. Four, I don't know if you can see my feet, but I kind of like lean on my heels. Five, you can keep your feet flat. Six, Seven, woohoo, feeling those biceps. Eight, you know I like working biceps. Nine, ten, keep going. If you need to change that angle, eleven with your feet, do it. Twelve, thirteen, woohoo, fourteen, and last one here is fifteen. Great, let's take that and let's just stretch opening. Feels really, really good. Oh, very nice. All right, so we did biceps, so now we're gonna do some triceps. What does that look like? We're gonna walk our feet in front of us. We're gonna bring our elbows into our body near our chest, and then we're just gonna press down and back. So here we go for 15, 15, blah, 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 15 everyone, let's do it. One, two, oh, I'm feeling them already. <laughs> Three, I have a great tricep exercise video. Four, I think it's called the best, five best tricep exercises. I'll put a link there. Six, Woo! Seven, keep it going. Eight. Nine. I think 10. 10. 10 is good there. Woo, I felt those, did you? Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna start all over again. We started with our chest. We're gonna do another exercise for the chest. This one is gonna be a wide push-up. So before we had our arms close to our body. Now we're gonna do with our palms facing the floor, a real push-up. And again, depending on where you put your feet, it depends how hard and deep this push-up is going to be. So I'm gonna be about here. Let's do 10 of these together. Ready? We're just gonna, I'm gonna give you the example, down and up. So here we go. We're looking forward, neutral neck, core is tight, counting for 10. Here we go. One, two, good, three, using that chest, four, five, all upper body today, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Again, let's walk it out. I like to lean forward a little, take a step back, drop those arms, 
reach back, nice stretch. Okay, now we're gonna take it to shoulders and we're gonna do a um, shoulder press. So, my TRX getting a little twisted there. We're going to, first I need to set it up. My feet are in front of me and it's just like if you had weights in your hand, you're bringing it up and down. Now you notice my body's not really moving, but trust me, you're gonna feel this one in your shoulders. Okay, find your, where your feet need to be. Ready, elbows are a little bit in and forward and we're pushing up and down. That's one, two, three, yeah, right? Four, core is engaged nice and tight. Five, six, I think we're gonna do 10 of these. Seven, don't you just love the way I change the numbers? Eight, nine, and last one here, 10. Beautiful. Stretch out the back, the shoulders. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do a back. We're gonna do, this is going to be <laughs> a one arm row. So my left arm is gonna row in and my right arm is gonna fly out. I'll show you what it looks like. Row and fly at the same time and then we're gonna alternate it. Row and fly. Your band is gonna move a little bit, the TRX, but that's okay. It will adjust as you go. So I'm gonna start with my left arm rowing in. We'll do 16 of these. Ready, here we go. One, two, really row that arm back. Three, come up to standing if you can. Four, five, good. Six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, we're making a sexy back, and 16. Very nice, okay. Now we're gonna go back into another bicep exercise. Let's see, what do I wanna do? I think we're gonna do, Let's see, <laughs> grab the handles here. We're gonna go, I might be out of the camera. We're gonna go sideways and we're just gonna do a one arm bicep curl. You could do it with one hand or you could do it with the foot. We'll do it with one. So grab your handle, come to the side and curl in here. One, two, three, we've got 10, four, Good, five, I'm feeling that, six, seven, I'm so glad you guys are here today working out with me, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Okay, actually I'm gonna have to turn around and face, but that's okay, here we go for 10. One, two, three, I've got to change my angle a little bit. Four, five, I'm checking on you. Six, seven, eight, you got it, nine, and last one, woo, 10. That was great, those are hard. Sorry, I had to turn my back on you, but didn't wanna change the camera. Okay, and last one, triceps. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. So this is what it looks like. We're pushing down and if that's hard you can put one foot in front of you and kind of rock with it right just rock but keeping those elbows up so here we go we're going to do 15 one 
two, and I like to look forward, three, we're always moving forward, <laughs> four, don't want to go backwards, five, six, life is beautiful, seven, so much to see ahead of us, eight, nine, Ten. I'm going to put my foot out. Eleven. Twelve. Good. Thirteen. Few more here. Fourteen. And fifteen. That was awesome. We did two exercises for each body part in the upper body. You can always go back and repeat that a couple more times. And I always like to finish with that intuitive stretching, I call it, wherever you need to be. Sometimes I even just balance, whatever feels good to you, no right or wrong, but I'm a big proponent of stretching the body. That's why I love to combine all forms of exercise, yoga, Pilates, weight training, TRX, hula hooping, <laughs> everything. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Come visit me at lauralondonfitness.com, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.